Can, maybe you can tell us something about the instruments, please. Yeah, uh, this is a accordion. It's made in uh, Italy, probably in the 1960s. It's a bad company called Scandali. The accordion is a common instrument in Europe and South America and many places, but less common in America. So a lot of people ask me how it works. You know, I uh, grew up playing piano, so this side of it is very similar to piano in terms of the shape of it. But the difference is that the dynamics are all controlled by the bellows here. So your hands have to work together to create the sound. And it's a very sensitive instrument. Pretty much any, anything you do with your body will change the sound. So that's a major difference. And on the left side, we have these buttons, which are bass notes and different kinds of chords. And they're arranged in a certain way so that it's easier to play with these kinds of things on the accordion than it is on the piano. Which is what I was just doing. So for a jazz musician, it's unusual to play the accordion? Yeah, it's a little bit of an unusual instrument. I think that uh, people haven't explored the full potential of it in jazz as a improvising instrument. But if you listen to music from Brazil, for example, there's a long tradition of accordionists who improvise on the instrument and play the music. So it's an instrument that absolutely fits in, but for especially for swinging music, it's a lot more uncommon, especially in the last 50 years. There was a time in the 30s and 40s when it was more common. Then there's been a period of 50 years where it's been a lot less common, and now it's starting to make a comeback. There are a few great accordionists in New York, really, uh, playing jazz and improvising. So. That sounded great. Thank you. Uh, Jasper plays many instruments. These are just two of them. <laughs> yes, I, I, uh, I'm, a, I'm a woodwind specialist, which means I play any instrument in the woodwind family, more or less. But uh, the instrument that I was playing just now, this is a soprano saxophone. Um, this was made in the 1980s by the company Yamaha. And uh, basically, there are four different main sizes of saxophone. There's the soprano, which is this one, the smallest one. There's the alto, the tenor, which are the two middle ones. And then there's the baritone, which is the big one. And um, the soprano saxophone is one of the lesser played saxophones, but some people that are famous for playing it are John Coltrane, Bradford Marsalis, Kenny G, or all the <laughs> soprano saxophone specialists. Um, it's my favorite because it's easy to carry and because I feel like it has a lot of diversity in terms of genre. Like it sounds good in rock, pop, jazz, classical, anything. Brazilian um, music. Brazilian music, music. music. Absolutely. And video game music too that yeah. we play. Soprano oh, saxophone plays very well for that. Um, and yeah, that's... Well, well, it sounds great. Jasper, Jasper plays all of the saxophones, soprano through baritone, so... In addition to flute, piccolo, alto flute, and <laughs> clarinet and bass clarinet. So it's, uh, it's quite a lot. <laughs> Tomorrow you'll have tenor, right? Well, no, I mean, Oh, yeah, not yet.